Hey guys and welcome! I'm your host Dave Video Studio here. With How to Train a Dragon and Hidden World out about now and Pokemon Sword and Shield coming out soon, I thought to myself what if the dragons I Pokemon were classed the same way the dragons from How to Train a Dragon were classified. You know, Stoker, Boulder, Tracker, formerly Fear, Sharp, Tidal, Mystery, and Strike. Some are easy to classify. Others require a bit of thought. Before we do, let's go over the rules. 1. Arceus and Silvalli don't count because they're originally normal type. 2. Mega Evolutions do count. 3. Alola forms also count. 4. The evolutionary lines will be represented by their final evolved forms, even if the past forms aren't dragon types. And 5. The new dragon types of Gen 8 will not be included in the video, but I'll classify them later. Okay, with that all said, let's begin! Stoker Class Hot-headed fire breathers. These are the dragons most associated with fire, so this one's easy with Mega Charizard X, Reshiram, and Turtonator. Since they're fire types, they belong here. Okay, moving on. Boulder class. Tough and associated with the earth. This one's also easy since it falls under the rock, ground, and steel type Pokemon. So the Flygon line, the Garchomp line, the Alga, the Tyrantrum line, and all Zygarde forms. Okay, another easy one set and done. Next class! Tracker class. Natural born hunters and have acute senses or ways of finding their targets. I narrow it down to the Noivern line and Drampa because Noivern uses echolocation to find its prey, and Drampa because of its Ultra Sun Dex entry. If a child it has made friends with is being bullied, Drampa will find the boy's home and burn it to the ground! Okay, uh, moving on. Sharp class. Bane, prideful, and has sharp body parts. I narrowed down to Alona the Zekitor, Mega Sceptile, the Salamence line, the Haxorus line, Dredigan, and the Como O line. The Grass Dragon types Alona the Zekitor and Mega Sceptile can use leaves as razors such as Leaf Storm and Leaf Blade, plus Alone the Zekitor is known as the Pride of Alola. Salamence, because it's proud of its wings, and its Mega Form is known to slice anyone in its way. Haxorus and Dredigan are pretty straightforward with having sharp body parts. And lastly, Como O Scales have been used as weapons in ancient times. Tidal Class Live in or near the ocean. Pretty straightforward with the water dragon types such as Kingdra and Palkia, but Dragalge also belongs here because 1. Its former type is water, and 2. It still lives in the ocean. Okay, next. Mystery Class Selfie, sneaky, and very little is known about them, or in my case, I couldn't find a logical reason to class them any other way. We have both Altaria forms, both Rayquaza forms, Giratina, Kirim, the Gudra line, Guzzlord, Ultra Necrozma, and Naganadel. Altaria because it's singing and tight changes of normal, flying, dragon, and fairy. Both three crazy forms because it was so high in the sky, very little was known about it at the time. And it can make up all of that a mega stone. Okay, that last part already has an explanation, but we'll just roll with it. Garatina because it's a ghost, and ghosts are mysterious. Kirin because it's said to be an alien Pokemon and can fuse with Reshiram and Sacrom. Gudra because it hardly looks like a reptile, I suppose. And these final three Ultra Beast Dragons are fairly easy and naturally mysterious because Guzzlord, despite eating a lot, never poops. Ultra Necrozma devours light and is insanely overpowered. Seriously, this thing kicked my butt in both Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon along with other Pokemon fans. And again, though, because of its Venom. Alright, last but not least, Strike Class. Blazing speed, vice like jaw strength, high intelligence, pinpoint accuracy, and powerful attacks. I decided to put in the Dragonite line, Mega Ampharos, Latias and Latias, including both their Mega Forms, the Hydragon line, and Zacron. Dragonite, Latias, and Latias because of their speed and intelligence, Mega Ampharos and Zacron because of their electric typing, and Hydragon because of its jaw strength and I presume ferocity. There you have it, Dragon types class like the dragons from I don't train your dragon. 
Do you guys agree with how I classified them or disagree? Like I said, some of these weren't easy and only had the descriptions to go off of. Of course, there will be more Dragon Sites later on and I'll have to update my list somewhere on my DeviantArt page. Okay, that's about it for now. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Dave Video Studio signing out. Now until next time, stay tuned and stay golden.